Hello everybody, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're going to take a look at another product by eRaptor. This time we're going to look at the insert for Wingspan. We're going to take a before and after look at my current non-existent really storage solution and see how this thing looks after putting it together. We're going to put it together here on the video. And full disclosure, I was sent a review copy of this product by eRaptor, uh, but I am not getting paid for this uh, review, first look, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all right, so let's get down to my current solution and then we'll put this thing together. So here's Wingspan. Let's take a look at how I store the game currently. Uh, I haven't had this game for too long. Played it a few times. Love it. Uh, but yes, let's take a look at how I'm storing everything right now, or at least when I last threw it all together after playing. Uh, after one of our live playthroughs, I'm sure. Uh, so I just have all the sheets on top. We got our little... Uh, custom card holder, uh, or game trays inserted as you know if you have the game or are interested in getting the game. Uh, this is one of the awesome parts of the game, storing cards in there. Uh, we have these little containers the game came with. These are the standard Stonemeyer Games uh, clear holders. We got the uh, bird feeder dice tray that uh, is can be put together uh, and even stored in here. And it seems to still be holding up, not getting banged around too much. Uh, and then I just throw the dice in there. That's how I store it. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to store it, but I, I'm kind of lazy. don't really want to take it apart all the time. So we're going to see if this new insert actually, uh, how it stores this, if it can even. We'll find out. Um, and just more containers, more eggs, baggies. Uh, yeah, this is how I store my game. And I have to take all this out just to get at these. I put these in the bottom. Hopefully they don't, uh, they're kind of heavy, uh, and I always hope they don't really smash the dice tower too much. So I'm kind of gentle with this game, uh, and hopefully that insert will help out with that uh, to keep the components snug and tight, because right now it's kind of all loose in here and just uh, rolls around. I'm sure this is going to get beaten up over time uh, being stored in here with these heavier cardboard mats. So let's take a look at the insert. Okay, time to put together the insert. I do want to point out there's no glue required for this. They also have a QR code on the front to scan for instructions. Uh, this is my first time opening it. We'll see if I can... Uh, it doesn't even open that way. All right, we'll see if we got instructions inside here. Oh, I'm wrecking the box. Yes, perfect. We have instructions. Just like the last insert. Uh, this is only my second insert I've ever put together for a board game, period. All right, so they give you, give you sheets here to show you each of the sheets of wood and what you're popping out and what goes together. So in this case, uh, to put together this one piece, it comes from two sheets uh, and it tells you uh, which sheets they are. And on the sheets, so they're in a plastic giant Ziploc baggie uh, inside the cardboard shipping box. Uh, and you can see right here, it'll have like wingspan, you know, 404, 104, whatever, I'll list it on so you know what sheet you're working with. All right, let's put this thing together. And there we go. There's the four pieces that come for this insert. Uh, these two are the same, uh, but this one has a slightly different uh, layout with the thinner uh, storage. And then we have this one here. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to get all the stuff from there into here. Uh, so we'll be right back and I'll show you that. All right, let's take a look at all the stuff put in the box and see how it goes in there and how it stores everything. And yeah. So one issue I have with this insert, uh, the dice tower does not fit in here, put together like it did in my previous solution of just throwing everything back in the box. 
a little disappointed by that, but you can disassemble it and fit it in here. But this is not, I mean, the dice tower looks nice. It's decent quality, but I wouldn't want to be taking this thing apart and putting it back together over and over again. It's only cardboard. It's not going to hold up over time. Uh, so I'll probably just put this together, uh, put it on a shelf to display it because it is beautiful and I'll just leave it like that. So it's ready to play. But yes, you cannot store it back in the base box unless you dismantle it. I even tried sticking these pieces in that larger uh, holder area, but I couldn't really get it in without like possibly damaging these pieces. But these fit flat. The rest I put in that uh, tray, which I'll show you. Uh, you can fit all the booklets and pads and everything on top, even the Swift starter uh, stuff. If you have that with your copy of Wingspan, uh, then you have all the food nice and sorted. I really like this. Like I did like the containers they came in before. It's fine but they only give you a couple. This way it's nice and separated. You don't have to have it just all jumbled together in the same container. Nice and clean. You can just pull this out, put it on the table. Love it. Uh, this, I will be using this in an upcoming live stream playthrough of this game. So stay tuned to the channel uh, and subscribe for that if you want to see this in use, but I'm sure you can see how we can just pull it out uh, and grab everything we need. Here's all the end game tiles and the first player token. And you have uh, your player colors here, all separated, easy to grab, not in a baggie where I have to sort them out by color every time I want to play. Uh, I'm sure you could bag those separately, but then, yeah, it's just more bags and annoying. Uh, and here's your uh, player mats. Uh, here's your eggs. I did not sort them by color, as in the marketing uh, images, but uh, the color doesn't matter, so I just threw them all in there. And you can just lay those out on the table also, and they're ready to go. And because these uh, are on top of each other in here, they kind of keep everything locked in, which is nice. Um, and then here's the larger tray. So in the marketing images that I looked at to try to figure out where things go, uh, they have some cards put in this section, uh, but instead I, I kind of put the pieces from the, the dice tower in here. But again, you may not want to store it like this. And if you have expansions, you would probably need this card space here. I don't know if the first expansion, the European expansion fits. I just got that expansion. I haven't even opened it yet. But uh, if you guys are interested, leave comments down below. I may do a follow-up video where I try to jam all the expansion components in here uh, and see how it fits. But on the website, it doesn't say that this works with expansion for sure. Uh, there's no information I could find on it, so we'll find out uh, if you guys care and want to know. But there is lots of space in here, but I don't sleeve the cards. So as you sleeve, you might run out of space in here. But as you can see, there's lots of space. I just threw this little pack in here. Tons of space for cards here, tons of space for cards here. Uh, I just threw the dice in one of these uh, holders, but you probably can get away with just putting all the eggs in one and, and having a tray over here for dice, uh, which should fit in no problem. Because uh, there's lots of space here for more eggs, which I know the expansion has some more eggs. Uh, and then I would have this space empty if I wasn't storing the dice tower in here, which I'm not going to do. So this is empty space for me uh, going forward. So we'll put it back in without the dice tower. So you can just throw that in there. And it fits nice and snug. Nice solid wood. Uh, it's fairly light, but it does add some weight to the box from before. Uh, but these things, I feel way more than that. But uh, And then we just throw this back in here. And this goes right to the top. This this wood right here goes right to the top, so it, it locks in these components. So I don't see an issue with storing this on its side, which is good. Uh, and then you can just throw this in here. And so no dice tower put in the box. I'm going to assemble that again, and hopefully I don't wreck it doing that. Uh, but the things I do for you guys. <laughs> uh, and then this fits in the box uh, fully closed. So no issues there closing it. And the other thing that might bug some people, and I do love this tray. I think it's beautiful. Uh, this won't fit in the box. And I'm kind of disappointed. I, I, I don't design board game inserts, but I, I'm curious if, like, why they left this not as part of the storage solution. Like, they could have probably worked around this. This is pretty solid. I, I think it could go in there with the wood. Uh, but maybe they just did not have enough room trying to fit everything in there with the wood insert and keep the box solid. Um, yeah, I don't know. So if you need this and want to use this tray, uh, it will not fit in the box with this insert. So dice tower and this on the side. That might be a deal breaker for some. For me, it's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm going to try it out in a live stream playthrough. Uh, a few upcoming playthroughs. Next time we play with Wingspan, uh, we have a 24-hour live stream that may have just happened. If you're watching this, where, I, where we will have used this in the play, and you'll see how it goes. But uh, this will be stored on the side. This will put in with extra storage stuff I have spare. 
um, but I probably still will use this, so it, it might be a little annoying that it's not in the box. And that's a look at the E-Raptor insert for Wingspan, uh, the base game. Again, if you guys are interested in seeing if it works with the European expansion, the first expansion that's come out for Wingspan at the time of this recording, I just got it. Uh, but I'll crack it open and do a follow-up video if you're interested. And I'll link that down below if and when I create it. If you're interested in other E-Raptor products, I will put a link for their website in the description below. And you can go check out other Dice Towers, accessories, inserts for many other games. And thanks again for the folks, the folks over at E-Raptor for sending this to us. And thank you to our Patreon supporters for supporting this channel. You guys make these videos happen. If you'd like to donate to the channel and support us here, links are down in the description below. And if you want to catch other future videos like this and other board game playthroughs on the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.